Hi, 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 hi. உனக்கு ரெடி பண்ணி கொடுத்தான் பார்த்தியா விடையடி அது திரும்ப ஓஎஸ் போட்டு விட்டு அதில் கிராஷ் பண்ணி விடு பென்ட்ரைவ் அந்த கரிசி புண்ட எடுத்து தெரியா You sure as shit are one dumb ignorant white trash hill belly Wallace You're damn right. <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quietian. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang me, bang sung each other. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Huh? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> Who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys and fuck them! <laughs> ah! Ooh!
now. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, Bella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, yeah, yeah, Earl, yeah. Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. Oh, moon's in the They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats! <laughs> नहीं पर साथ आ रही है I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Kill ya! Coming for you. We're armed in here. Stay outside. You oh, fuck, fuck me. Asshole. Fuck me. It's Philip. Get your own fucking business. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Look out. out. Take over time.
many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse! Competition in the marketplace! The creepy motherfuckers over here! Damn. Let's see if we can cut them down to size. Fucking uh. keep them out of here! You pricks! We gotta protect this house. You don't look like dead. a larger operation to me. Uh -huh. Call Jesse at the clinic. We got one hurt bad. Fucking get him! Uh, it's over! Stop him in his fucking tracks! Get your own fucking business! Oh. I think you'd be over this quick! Oh. Not. Ah. You're mine! Take over time! Keep them away! Shit, dick! Ah! 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 Big to the ground, Hello. Yenge mic sound kamne ke ek. Hello. Hello. Mike is on the camera. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Huh?
Man, fuck him. I ain't gonna make it out. You get out this property. Mm. I love this shit. You mother. I'm coming for you. We're gonna screw you up. You come in here and take shit for You fucking weirdo. Get gone. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He ain't taking our crank! Them witch shithead! Well, fuck me and stand down! Come on! You gonna be bear? You asshole! Go to the basement! You ain't getting it the lamb! Hey, fuck you! Go home! Hey, fucking O'Neills! You gonna die in this cookhouse. Hey, shipbird! Keep him out of the lab! You look like a larger operation. Hey, back to your fucking trailer! <laughs> he can't come down here! Stop him! Oh, shit! He's down here! Don't come any closer, all right? You win. You can have the contract. We ain't got the ambition, man. We went wrong, okay? Made a bad call. I don't know how many of my brothers you smoked, but you ain't touching this lab. Get out of here! Go on now, get! Get gone, you creepy SOB! Gas in a meth lab! Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots! Smell those fumes! Yeah, you've only yourselves to blame. Where are you gone, fuckers? for this, assholes. Burn, you disrespectful pricks!
me a break. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two. Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard. Get out here. We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go. Wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream?
friend someplace called Gifuchi Beach. Go, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay.
considering you Now that that's over, let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard about the banging and screaming, but then not, not the knife kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have dished Ow! Must have dished you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family in a house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! I, don't turn me into anything! I just want... I thought we were going to Los Santos to see the famous folk. What the hell? Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Get 
This is the place. I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Rose Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? Mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Gaspucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his cup. Cousin Floyd don't live here. Oh, oh no. Coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the new. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes. He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. 
maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing... Or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up. Her he Ow! Her hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade, we do not know. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Go straight on here. It's a rag up here. Just keep on a minute. This is the place, I think it is at least. Come up here, Trevor. Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Neville's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Yeah. It's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck.
this. You're going! Forever one! Ding! Random thief, zero. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Ah, 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 ah. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. Gun dog. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. Like I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. Like Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Uh, good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Mays Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! What up, people, my All right.
You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like hey, piss. Okay. You got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? What the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. Shit! You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the lonely... Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual hi, hi, friends. Hi, hi. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. This'll be it. The Maze Bank Arena. Let's find them. Jesus Christ! Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Who the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow. Mm -hmm. Basically, we're going to talk about the other three of the 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 uh, they told us we got to take the truck. Get in the truck, Michael. Hey, God hey! not my rig. He went left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise the daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. 
Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery yeah, car. Come on. Again. This ain't exactly a racer. Karan, the last one. Yeah, man. The last one. Karan, the last one. I can't stand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Franco. I saw him turn left. Calm it down. Ah, the little bastard's gone onto the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what will happen to him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We gotta go to the left. Chill the fuck out. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Head right up here. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. You took a right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but <laughs> We'll get him! We'll get him! But we're sure taking our time about it. Ah, ah, he's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys, you run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus... I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pantacle T. Hey. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh, come on, lower. <laughs> Whoa. What's up? Excuse me. Excuse me? Pardon? Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that. Oh, 
fucking dick. Hey, where the hell are you going with my bike? Bullshit. Buddy. Ah, forget it. I gotta pretend like I'm a good guy sometimes. <sighs> Call me at the place tonight. Is out front. Hey.
कोरोना तेरिया में काट लूँ मटी था ना Give me, sweetheart. Hey man, greetings. Hola. How? Yeah, what's cracking? What are you doing? Hey. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when... He starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. Oh, uh -uh. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. This agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I going to get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. Hey, now for the other subscribers. Going to reach 650 soon. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, oh, overweight, in his late 40s, 
possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. Probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch. Yes, sir. Carta cake is there. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of it. Oh, Jesus! Back from the dead, motherfucker! The palo ti wala the palo ko de ki ki ta pa ba. Kupai por ko ta. Come on! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Okay, okay, no, okay, okay. Now, out of there! <clears throat> That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag, Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help, but you'll have to get upstairs if you're going to get out. But speak more loud. Okay, no, okay, no. Hey, stop. Ah! Loud up as in on addition make it Okay, okay, now, okay, okay. Hey, stop! Put your hands on your head. Oh! 
Should have stayed on the slab. No, oh, it's over. Ah! Ah! This guy can't leave having. We have to contain this facility! I don't know what's going on here, but I want the fuck out! today.
Hast du Topf genug? 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 Hey Mike! F! Hey, we need to talk. Quick! Meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's okay. going on? There's a big target out there, something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Are by I don't know Hindi bro uh, Humko value ke rata ya Going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. Yeah, we did a deal a long, long time ago. Get it. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Yo, well, let's bury this time. motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. 
I'm just gonna, you know, no, but the just try four, to play four, both four, sides. Four, four, four. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Franklin Franklin did not work. Franklin Nimble Kadai Lilin and Akira. Story more Matama. Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I planned that? Famer shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, oh yes, yeah, she's very time. centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, oh. Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab. So, you you can make me well. as happy and mellow as my wife. It'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the Murabunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the air. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Um, two, three. It is bad. Now, my guy. This is I don't know about this. You know what I'm doing? You said you take this seriously. Please at least try. Please. This is the first step on a very long road. Walk with me. It's just the warrior. Bullshit. We have a very long road to travel with you. It's so simple. Come on. Fucking back. You were an athlete once. Come on. When you 
are strong in your mind, you will be strong in your body. <sighs> ah, bullshit. Get up. Try again. Please, Mikel. Ah. Show us what you can do. Ugh. Please don't waste Fabian's time. Michael did not reach the engagement. Apuna. You know nothing, my child. That is the point. Ah, my fucking back. How oh, you say? This is uh, funny and sad at once. These are the basics. You must master them. Now, in ah. through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Don't ruin this for me, please. Forget that you are fat and you're to death. Be in the now. In and out with the... <laughs> Your lunar and solar spheres are out of line. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Uh, ah, bullshit. You were an athlete once. Come on. Lose yourself. You are just one mung bean in the great stool of the Ishta Devata. Breathe in. Let it out. Oh. It's like watching one of my kids take their first steps. Only an old version I resent. You are scared, Mikkel. Ah! Take the plunge. Ooh la la. It's so simple. Come on. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Exhale. That is okay. Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Out through the mouth. Wow, Michael. I never thought I'd see the day. Fabian is on the clock, honey. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Let it out, baby. <sighs> maybe there's hope for him. A small, tiny, minuscule maybe. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. What to do, what to say. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside. Let it go. Sensor cutting and sensor. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. 
The silly man forgets to breathe. Out with the breath. Ah! Oh, oh, fuck yeah. this. I think we are too late with him. You have picked yourself up, and you will try again. Breathe, Mikkel. Breathe out, please. There. There it is. You can breathe, can't you? Out through those wrinkled lips. You feel that? Now, you breathe. Let it go. <sighs> now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. The silly man forgets to breathe. Very good. Now let it go. Erect, turgid, hold it, stroke it. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chatter. Yeah. Feel the flow. <laughs> Everything okay. is flowing in me. Surya, Surya, Namaskar. Mike, would you? Surya, Namaskar, Manakar. Put the lunar to the face. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Out through the mouth. Hold the anus. Breathe, please, Michael. Sorry, Namaskara. Just exhale, Michael. Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Take in the air and release it. Let it out. The backward eye between your thigh. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out. You're turning red. Good. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out, baby. Your inner eye. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it go. Yoga, son, yoga, son, yoga. There. Hey, la, pura yoga, son, na, la, na, na. Take in the air and release it. Very good. Now let it go. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Michael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Hey, hey, oh, oh, sensor, oh.
You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. <laughs> So where's your friend? Burger shot? Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You'll see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, you really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. The friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. What's man? up? What's, What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. What the fuck? Jimmy. Just just hold on a second. Oh, all right. All right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty, then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? then now what can we just get back to the house please 
Have a sip of this. Jim, come on. It'll be fun. Come on. Let's kick back together. Fuck those girls, man. Yeah. Fuck those girls. What's wrong, kid? Take a drink. Oh, Jim. Yeah. That's starting to come on Relax. Strong. Relax? I'm a little too relaxed. I'm drowning in my own Don't ice. Don't get dark. You'll have a bad time if you go dark. Oh, I'm already having a bad time. Everything's oh, like 2D. I gotta stop. Oh, what was in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetized me? You fucking you kid? You from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right. You're too crazy, Dad. Come on! <laughs> What do you want, Michael? I always thought I was the good guy. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. 
I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do.
nice car. So you understand the technology of our existence? Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. This barn and hunk of love is all mine. It's good, then. <laughs> Brilliant. Wait. Steve Haynes, amigo. It's good, but you it. probably knew that already. It's good, then. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Come on, oh, duh. I love it. I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff. Whoa. 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 Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke's nah. done now, pal. You will show me one and one and one team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings.
Nice car. Taxpayers treating you right. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Mike, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great. And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the FIB. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey okay. motherfucker, huh? No, I, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off, really. Shit, I'm good, I ain't bailed. Whoa, what, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this. Ah, uh, power bank, da. And they help us bring Brad. Right? Yeah, we'll talk about Brad later. All right, I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> Let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are.
after a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. you with it yeah Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Stop! 
He's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. Oh, the the biscuit, huh? Car. 
I'm able to oh, shit. Um, what is this bullshit? Sorry about it. La carrera. Yet to pair or either than the Dipanglada. Ram as a perna royal Roman or Madinade.
DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearthed this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows... Watch it! Now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or... Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? 
Wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just... You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. Are you still alive? to talk. Don't do much. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know it's here. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in Jumash. The right on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> I'm having an okay vacation, but you can't smoke anywhere out here. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in San... Don't! But it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he's in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you... Really? Ah, oh, crap! And you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. Sparky, Sparky. You going to kill me? My uh. heart. Look, look.
I did that. <laughs> oh, you look so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. I'm taking a shot of this after him. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. It's the day I got given up. The sick of That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. I had this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's oh, won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until no. you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Just to be sure, come on. What if you get it wrong? Torture it. Fingers! My mouth! I, I, I would drown! Oh, no! I got blood in my mouth! I, I would drown! It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! Stop it! Done the trick. Yep, he comes. Let me up. Let me up. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smoked. And he's left handed. What's that? He changed smokes and he's left handed. Ah, oh. Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Mm -hmm. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. Ah, I see someone. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... 
Oh, fuck! You get kicks out of killing innocent women now? The report I'm gonna have to write. Stevie fucked it. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball <sighs> game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I don't want you to go home. I want you to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. Turn in the morning wood. I love him very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
Your house. Lucky miss. Trevor, Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor uh, is a good guy. He's like family, and uh, got kid, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy, and, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Well, I guess we're going to Port City then. Uh... Come on then, Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh... We're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it. I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I always was a stick in the mug. Uh, look, sir, please, uh, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I... You're kidding! I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He 
tastes real good with Gumber. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track for what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate... Looking! Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Merryweather folks hanging around. Merryweather security... Oh! Merryweather security consultant. Private army to the New World Order. My butt gone The up. folks waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to... Sir! Operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one, oh, one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. Way. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. Give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Sir, please now. National Office of Security Enforcement monitor the whole area. If something goes off in Port City, every road round here gets shut down. Uh, no way anybody could come in or out. Go park and get to dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get to dispatch. Just about to start. Here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd. This can go real wrong, real quick. Well, he's particularly We got a waste spillage, and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that can pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. They shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that's stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. 
What do you think they got on it? We just gave it to them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby got to be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! Get up. We got to do this. I guess I got to pretend I'm a dock worker if I want to stay. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're going to check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. They're gonna check us. Those are the containers in Bay B. I'm gonna lose my job. Trevor! it on now. That's it. Now we got to bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot!
imagine you coming home. That car is fine as hell. You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now nah, I'm gonna call the police. So. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along, push myself to be the best, die with no regrets, live with every breath, see my message start to spread, and I have so many dreams, then you hit your teens, life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means, always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it, and the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing, never get Give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the sardines, my 